Today we're trying to show that the digits 1, 1, 1 cannot be a perfect square in any base. Now the most common example of this is in our everyday base 10. 111 is not a perfect square. And y'all, I'm going to write 111 sub 10, even though normally they don't do that. It's understood we're, we're working in base 10. But notice that 111 is manifestly not a perfect square since it's trapped between two consecutive squares, namely 10 squared and 11 squared. 10 squared being 100, 11 squared being 121. So 111 can't be a perfect square because it's stuck between two perfect squares. All right. But we want to show in general that the digits 111 in any base cannot be equal to k squared. Of course, k would be an integer right here. We'll write down k is a uh, natural number if you want, positive integer. And again, we're trying to establish that this arrangement of digits cannot be a perfect square in any base, not just base 10. Okay, so we can write out the expanded form of 111 base b in this fashion. Okay, uh, b is, again, b would be an integer, also a positive integer. Um, now, this is really pretty easy. It's kind of based on the same idea as this special case, but it's, it's I guess it's more abstract. Uh, Notice that our expansion can be written as b squared plus b plus 1, which is this right here. Okay. But notice that this right-hand side is manifestly larger than b squared plus b plus 1. b squared plus 2b plus 1 is certainly bigger than b squared plus b plus 1, as long as b is a positive integer. All right. But notice that would, this, this right-hand side here is just a simple factorization, b plus 1 quantity squared. Okay, and of course it's less than, uh, so we have b squared less than. So the uh, structure is more or less identical, I guess, to the, the special case we just were. And it's QED time. This cannot happen in any base, or at least I've shown it, it can't happen in any base that is a positive integer.